Good morning, brothers and sisters. Um, I hope you all had a blessed Christmas and a blessed New Year. Uh, I took a break from YouTube, um, but I am coming back on with a couple of dreams that I had. Um, this one, this first one was about a cave inside this mountain. It had many, many rooms. Um, but all of them were empty, but one. And this one room had, like, things that were needed, like fishing poles, food, water, things that are, that would be needed. Um, it didn't make sense to me at first, but then as it went on, there was other people besides me in this cave. And these people were taking these things out of this room. And in my dream, I had said, what if this person come back and called the police for you taking these things? And then they shut the door. And then I woke up. And then I pondered this dream for a little while. And I thought, this, my carnal mind had was in had said something in this dream about calling the police what if it had what if nobody really lived in that room what if it was God putting supplying needs because they were needed at that time in this dream but anyway that's something to think about and then I had another one another dream on the 30th this one happened like Christmas, the, my first dream happened um, Christmas Eve. And this other dream happened on the 30th. What I'm going to do is give you a little bit of background before I go into this dream. Because I dreamed about this person I haven't seen maybe three times in ten years. Well, the last two times that I've seen her, it was been during the summertime. And, um... Well, anyway, in real life, this this person, she was a partier and stuff like I was before I come back to the Lord. Um, and different things. She's done a little bit more than I did, but anyway, that doesn't matter. The last couple times I have seen her, she has has like a where a a bone sickness where she's going to end up in a wheelchair and within a year. She has lost so much weight. She was skinny before, but she is bone-breaking skinny now. We've had to help her, like, to the bathroom and back to the couch, help her outside when she wants to sit outside. She was real, real weak. Well, anyway... Um, in this dream, I dreamed about her, and this person is my husband's ex-wife. Well, in this dream, she was healthy. She was at a nice weight. It was like she did a complete 180. She didn't smoke. She didn't drink. She didn't do drugs like she did does in real life it was like she changed and me and my husband was helping her move into this nice house it it wasn't fancy fancy it was nice and um after we got done helping her move her and her husband move in to this house I woke up, and it it was weird, because this person lives in Florida, and I live here in Illinois, so I'm not sure why he gave me this dream, but I, I have been pondering it, so if anybody's got kind of any ideas, I would appreciate it in the comments, um, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope this helps somebody today. Um, 
I do have another video I'm going to be coming back with here in a little while. Um, God bless. I love you all, my brothers and sisters, and I praise the Lord every day. It is a beautiful morning, and I give God all the glory for the rain and everything we get or don't get. Um, I love you all, my brothers and sisters. Have a blessed day. God bless.